to do this exercise, you need to install one of the Excel add-ins or complements called Solver. I'll show you how to do it in the Mac. In Windows, it's similar. So go to Excel. Here is a blank spreadsheet. In the Mac, you go to Tools and it says Excel add-ins. And it should be tick mark in Solver add-in. If not, you tick mark it and say OK. For Windows, you will have to go to File, Configuration, and somewhere down the configuration comes the Excel add-ins and do exactly the same thing. The idea of this Excel exercise is to solve an optimization problem. In this case, we have to find the maximum of this function under the restrictions that the sum of x plus y is at most 10, x and y are non-negative. Let me move this a little bit to the left so we can see the Excel. We start with an empty Excel spreadsheet and we have to put first the variables we have. We are going to use which are x with initial value 0 and y with initial value 0. Next thing we'll set up here is this restriction x plus y at most 10. So just for us to remember, I'll call it sum, and this is equal to, and now we have to put the cell where the x value is going to be, plus the cell where the x y value is going to be. And now just for us to remember, we know the maximum value of this is 10. Be careful here, you have to enter the cells. You don't put x or y, you enter the cells. Now the next is the function we want to optimize. Function, so you can see here is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared. So we put equals to parenthesis the cell where x value is going to be plus 1 squared plus parenthesis y plus 1 squared. Enter. And now the goal is to tell Excel how to find the maximum value of this function subject to the restriction that the sum is at most 10. Here you can see the value of the function. When x is 0, this is 1. And when y is 0, this is 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Similarly, here you can find the sum 0 plus 0, 0. How do we solve this problem with Excel? We'll go to the data and here we go to Solver. Here we need to enter all type of information for the problem to be solved. For example, the first thing is what function, what object we want to maximize or minimize. So we click here to go to the Excel spreadsheet and that's the function we want to maximize. That's what the function is going to do. We want a maximum, we could have a minimum, we can have an exact value. Let's put maximum. Here we have to tell which cells we're going to change. So where the variables x and y are in this case. So we click here, this is x and y. And here we have to put the constraint, the restriction. So we add one restriction, which is, go. don't type here, rather go here, and say this sum has to be less than or equal. You have different options here. Then click here, this value that you have entered. That's the only restriction because the restrictions of x and y here being positive are already here, make variables non-negative. So we have everything. This is the objective we have to maximize because it says here maximum changing these two cells, b1 and b2, under the restriction that the sum is at most 10. We ask Estelle to solve it. And it has final solution. We want some reports, so let me click on Outline Reports, Sensitivity, OK. So it's creating the report, and here you have the solution is when x and y are both 5, the sum is exactly 10, and the value of the function is 12. Sensitivity report gives information about the multiplier. Probably if you do by hand, you get the multiplier is 12. Here, as it's a numerical, it will come a little bit different, so you have to be slightly careful when you write it properly.